and let's now explore the concept of thermal linear expansion. So let's say we have an object like a metal bar like that of initial length L sub naught and let's heat up the bar. So we add heat energy to the bar which means that the atoms inside the metal bar there will begin to vibrate at a higher frequency and also at a higher amplitude and so the molecules will be bumping into each other even more and it will kind of push the molecules a little bit further apart so it will ask or it will force a little bit more space between the atoms and molecules causing the object to change in all directions of course if you have a linear object like this it's only really noticeable in the direction of the length so the length will increase by a small, small amount of dl so that the new length will be l final the initial length plus the change in the length. And here I've written down some what we call coefficients of linear expansion. Different materials will react differently to an increase in temperature. And so this, here you can see that for every one degree centigrade, the, for aluminum, the object will be longer by this amount relative to its original size. And we'll talk about that a little bit more in just a moment. So let's now write down the equation. We can say that the final length of an object will be equal to the initial length plus the change in the length of that object. So what causes the change in the length of the object? Well, it's caused by however long it is initially, it's caused by what the coefficient of linear expansion is, and it's also caused by the change in the temperature. So that means that this is equal to the initial length plus the coefficient of linear expansion times the initial length times the change in the temperature. So all three are factors in how much the length will change. Now notice we can factor out an L sub naught, so we can say that the final length is equal to the initial length times 1 plus alpha um, times delta t. Now we're going to simplify this here because the, linear, the coefficient of linear expansion isn't in itself as linear. Uh, it changes over temperature as well, but for now just keep things simple. We'll just assume that this is a constant. So for example, let's say we have an object like this that's made out of steel. So we have a steel object, and uh, let's say that the initial length is equal to 2.4 meters. And let's say the temperature initial is equal to 20 degrees centigrade, and temperature final is equal to uh, 120 degrees centigrade. How much longer will this object be? What will be the increase in length? What is the delta L equal to? Question mark. Well, here we can see that the delta L is simply equal to uh, the coefficient times the initial length times the delta T. So the delta length delta L is equal to the coefficient times the initial length times the change in the temperature. So the coefficient right here for steel is 11 times 10 to the minus 6 per centigrade degree. Um, the initial length we said was 2.4 meters and the change in the temperature was 100 centigrade degrees. Notice that the centigrade degrees here cancels out with the centigrade degrees there and all I have to do is multiply those together. Now 2.4 times 11, uh, that would be equal to, um, that's a 2, a 4, and a 6 here. That would be 26.4 times 10 to the minus 6. And that would be meters and times 100. Of course, 100 will take off a couple uh, notches of the exponent there. So it would be 2, 6.4 times 10 to the minus 4 meters or when you move the decimal place over, that would be 2.64 millimeters. So if you increase the temperature of a steel bar that's 2.4 meters long, a little bit more than 8 feet, you raise it by 100 degrees centigrade, it will actually increase in length by about 2.64 millimeters, which is about a tenth of an inch. You may say, well, that's not a whole lot, which is true, but nevertheless, we do have to take that into account when we build buildings and bridges and railroads and so forth because when the temperature changes between day and night and between winter and summer, we do have to take into account that things will stretch and shrink and things may break unless we build them correctly. We'll see some examples of how we deal with that. But anyway, here's a nice little example and a nice little introduction on how we deal with linear expansion and some examples of the coefficient of linear expansion. Maybe I'll just add one more thing. Let's take this for example. If we change this to a percent of its original length, what this really means is for every one centigrade degree difference in temperature, be it higher or lower, the change in length, either longer or shorter, will be equal to 24 times 10 to the minus 4 percent of the original length 
for every one degree change. So whatever the original length is, if the temperature changes by one degree, it'll change that much from its original length. So another way of looking at the coefficient of linear expansion. There you go.